Welcome to Swish, vintage finds for your sassy self. We hope you enjoy the videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks. So this is an amazing store in Rome called Second Chance. And we've had a little bit of difficulty finding true vintage shops. There's a lot of shops that are catering to a younger clientele with t-shirts and sweatshirts, 1990s, not really my idea of vintage, but this shop is spectacular and has every kind of um, vintage, and contemporary and every kind of uh, beautiful thing that you could even imagine. And this is the owner Hi. and her name is... Alessia. Nice to meet you. Alessia. <laughs> My pleasure. And we feel so lucky that uh, we are here. We actually tried doing this video earlier, but it didn't work. So now we're less spontaneous. But uh, if you look around, the shop is quite a bit smaller than what we would have in Canada, but the square footage in Rome is so expensive that you have to condense things into a very small area. So if you look at some of these pieces, this is Chloe, this is beautiful. And this would have retailed for 10,000 10, euros. Yeah. 10,000 euros. And it's only a thousand euros if you buy secondhand. So secondhand, 100% is the way to buy uh, designer pieces because it's so much more uh, affordable and you get the good quality for your look at how amazing that is so the one thing that uh, we noticed coming to Rome is everything is a lot of pink people are wearing pink and that's based on the whole collection by Balenciaga and um, uh, the Barbie Barbie uh, collaboration that they did so this is amazing. Do you have a favorite designer? Hmm. Ah, I, I love so Tom Ford is one of the best. Oh, for me. Tom Ford. Tom of Ford. Of course. Did you watch the Gucci movie? Yeah, sure. But I don't like too much. It, you didn't like it? No, no. So many different so many different. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. Yeah. It wasn't my favorite, but I did Something. like the Tom Ford part. Yeah, Tom Ford mm -hmm. part is good. Ah, yeah. the movie is uh, so so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that uh, Adam Driver, he was not good Italian, you know, the, my, uh, uh, how do you say in, uh, como se dice, uh, my friend, my compare, my, my Mia friend, Mia Mia yeah. she, Lei? uh, Lei, she, uh, has a, she was at a, uh, house in Mexico with, uh, Patrizia Gucci back wow. in the 70s and 1970s. So she met Patrizia Gucci in the yeah, 70s. They stayed wow. in the same house. The real Patrizia yes, Gucci. Wow. Yes, the yes, Patrizia yes. Gianni, yes. So my, my friend, she has um, head to toe. She's in her 80s. She's an older lady and she'll come for dinner and she'll be uh, completely Yves Saint Laurent from 1970. Wow. And still is the same size. And wears the same clothes from men and Pucci. And, oh, she just she has such amazing clothes. But if Saint Laurent the older is the best. Oh my goodness, it's just you see now the Baccarello? Sure. Baccarello the new stylist, it just confused the, the eighty same. years of the Barcelona. The same but the original. Like, so Mr. Cameraman, uh, my friend will wear uh, purple silk Yves Saint Laurent blouse that has the pussy bow, the big bow, and the jeweled belt, and the velvet wide leg pants. But it's vintage. I mean, it's this color. Oh, yeah, this is Chanel. This is Chanel. See? Look at that. But this same color would have been the Yves Saint Laurent. Like when you look at the detail, look at the buttons, and it's gorgeous. If you touch the velvet, it's so different than the new one. Night and day, not the same. Like you have such amazing style and we're trying to figure out how, when, when we, when I arrived here in Rome, I brought my Marnie, lots of sweaters, lots of things. It's too hot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's much too hot. So I don't know how women are so stylish here because they'll have a sweater tied around their neck. They have all these things, but I find it too hot. You <laughs> look amazing. I, I'm, I'm like uh, very vintage, vintage style, selling vintage, Zara. 
don't know. Because of Zara? Yeah, Zara. Wow. Zara trousers. Oversize. Because I prefer oversize. I think that is more chic sometimes. Yes. Yeah. During the day, it's very chic. Absolutely. So what we tell people all the time is it's about mixing uh, vintage and contemporary. Yeah. There's very, very few people in our store back home in Edmonton. We get some girls who want to be 1950s with the crinoline yeah. and like Audrey Hepburn. Most people don't dress like that. Uh, most people mix one piece vintage, one piece contemporary, one, you know, like a beautiful cashmere sweater and a, you know, prefer. new jeans or denim. My Look at these bags. So that one is a Gucci vintage all in crocodile and that one is the new Christian Dior. Beautiful. So it's contemporary and vintage. Is, is Dior still doing the exotic skin? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And the price is a little, because it's 650. Because this strap have a little damage, so for this I do the little price. See, but in Canada, this is so common because uh, we have no humidity. Ah, okay. It's so dry, and so you get the alligator bags, and they're broken or damaged. But you could put a, a gold chain. Yeah, you could also, change that to a yeah. gold chain. That would be gorgeous. So I'm gonna just look here in this rack a little bit. It's all about the details. Look at this beautiful stuff. I love fabric, so I just go by the feel of things. Let's just pull out something. This one is a s oh, there is another. I love trees. We were just in London and we went to. So there is um, another. Uh, what's it called? What's the big department store? Selfridges. Oh, coming out. And they okay. had the sure. bias cut velvet drees, the, the gowns, gorgeous. But you have also your... <gasps> oh, see? Now this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is vintage Yves Saint Laurent. This label, this is a... Oh, uh, this is a newer piece, but Courage, of course, Courage is from the 60s, kind of like with uh, Pierre Cardin did all this. Uh, anyways, this is lovely. That's a beautiful piece. That's a great piece. And she, uh, it's merchandise very similar to how I have it, where it's all by color. It's hard to do it any other way. You have yeah. to do all the beige, the white, and the black, and the... You know, so of course, Marnie is Italian. What part of Italy is Marnie from? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know if he's from Florence. But so famous in Italy. But yeah. uh, only for not a lot of people. Few people can understand Marnie. I like Marnie. I like Me too. Yeah. It's more comfortable. It's very bigger. Like so. Oh, look. See, I just keep pulling the Marnie pieces. That's beautiful. And Miu Miu's Italian. Yeah, sure. Miu Miu is Prada. So what? Yes, uh, Miu 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 Chi. Miu Chi. Miu Chi. Yeah. It's me. What's your favorite Italian design? Do you have wow. one? Oh, Armani. Oh. So from Only the Armani. 80s, in the 1980s, the Armani best. has the best, like the maxi coats and the Armani. Oh, Armani. Black label, black label. Armani. Yeah. Oh, I love Armani. He's the too. king. It's a red Giorgio. So for me, it's so much elegant. It never changed the style. So the style is so classic. But you can wear also with the jeans, with the caterpillar, you know, the, the big boots like 100%. this. 100%. Yeah. But it's so fashion. And never, never you give to a, a second chance because you can wear 10 years, 20 years, all the time. It's beautiful. It never change your mind. So one thing that I'm sure she will agree is that vintage fabric, textiles, is so much nicer. So often I get customers come in the store and they'll say, where's your designer section? And I'll say, no, 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 no. Don't just look at the designer. You have to look at beautiful cashmere, beautiful dupioni silk, beautiful fabrics. And that is what dictates beautiful fashion yeah. too. Not necessarily if there's a label on it. And we have had elderly customers who cut the tags off of things because it's considered ostentatious to show off the brand. And I think that 
Rome, they were yeah. elegant. You know, Roman, not so people. Not for a lot of people, because the, it's uh, so different. Uh, a lot of people like to wear all the brands that I, just, I don't like. Uh, it's too much because it's too obsess ostentatious. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I prefer like this subtle. Yeah, very. You know, mix it the brands, but not ostent ostentatious because I prefer. You know, we have personalized it. This is my. Personally, that. Yes, <laughs> and that is not about fashion. There's a difference between fashion and style. Anybody with money can buy fashion, Perfect. but if you have style, you can mix any uh, Zara and Celine. And but I love buy mm -hmm. vintage. I buy vintage all the world because I, I love the vintage style, and all the time I wear something vintage. Me too. Yeah, acceptable. <laughs> like to that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, today. Even my cameo, I always wear a cameo from uh, Napoli. It's at the it's at the Airbnb. It's, it's a bit, anyways, yeah. This is this is so. You know what I'm loving is this orange suit over here. What is who is this by? Oh, this is a, wow. a golden oh. goose. Golden goose. Golden goose. Yeah, madam. Who is that from? It's Italianissimo. Oh. Italian. Oh. It's so famous golden goose. Yeah. Oh. It's very fluo. Oh, Venezia. So yeah, yeah, Venezia. It's yeah. a very, very fashion. But it's so famous in Italian. Wow. It's I very love expensive. The color. Yeah. I love the color. Looks like an old school uniform almost with the piping and everything. It's yeah. Beautiful. But it's really, really as expensive. Price retail is really expensive. But 350 in my shop. That's a good deal. That's a very good price. Yeah. All the people can see you with this color. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My, I have one uh, bambina, oh, wow. uh, but now she's 24. But when she was a baby, uh, there was only one store in my city that sold designer, nice children's clothing. And uh, she had a pair of corduroys, you know, the cords, okay, yes. and a matching puffer downfill jacket by Diesel, you know, back in the... 90s and it was neon that neon yellow you know the and i knew that if she was playing at the playground i could see her from <laughs> from a mile away i could see her but with a yellow very yellow she had yellow pants it. yellow jacket but it was beautiful she i still have it but very like that i love i love the yellow this but is gorgeous yeah this is beautiful see you just have to come here to rome and not necessarily go to the area by the Spanish steps because that's going to be so much more expensive. You can go there, but you need to come here. You need to come to Second Chance because this is the way to appreciate uh, fashion and find your own style and find one of a kind unique pieces. Um, anyways, that's my story and thanks for watching. Yeah, and thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank, thank you. you. My pleasure. Thank you.